This movie is about a teenager who was not even in high school or 8th grade kid is forced to take on the responsibility of being forced to saving the world from evil entities in the world. Now that I have seen the movie proper, I can honestly say that this is not only one of the best films of the year, but it might be the best superhero film I have seen in a while. This has been a bumper year for Spider-Man with Infinity War, the Spider-Man video game from Insomniac Games, but Into the Spider-Verse is the crown achievement and I have never been so glad to be wrong. Now we are about to dive into the film and what I really liked about it, but if you can, it is best to go in as blind as possible, just know it is well worth the price of your ticket. So to set the scene, Miles Morales, Shamik Moore, is trying to navigate life in Brooklyn that is both familiar to use but also different because this is a parallel universe. He is someone who was going through a crisis of identity as he is starting in a new school away from his parent and friends. His father Jefferson, Brian Tyree Henry, a police officer in the PDNY, and his mother Rio, little Lauren Velez, want the best for their son, even if it means he is away at school all week. Miles is trying to fit into a new school, but it is hard, so he slips out at night to visit his uncle Aaron, Marshall and Ollie, who does not really talk with his more straight-laced brother. Together, they go down into the subway to a cool wall Aaron knows about so Miles can create his art. Little do they know that down in the subway there was also a spider, a spider that will change Miles' life. Well after a day of sticking to random walls Miles goes back to find the spider only to hear commotion in the next room and finds that Spider-Man slash Peter Parker, Chris Pine, fighting the Grand Goblin, Jorma Taconi, in a big cavern full of machinery. As they fight the machinery is turned on and something weird happens, damaging the cavern and trapping Peter under metal. He gives a kill switch to Miles and gets him to run as Woodson Fisk, Liv Schreiber, arrives and then everything goes wrong. Miles is trapped not knowing what to do as he grieves for a life lost. Someone he least expects arrives and his world is turned on its head again. Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. Image credit. Sony slash Marvel Shamit Moore brings Miles Morales to life and imbues him with the core strength of character. Image credit. Sony slash Marvel The first thing we absolutely have to talk about is the animation, because this is one of the best animated films I have seen in a very long time. The artists behind Into the Spider-Verse have created an animation style that blends worlds together. It blends traditional 2D animation with 3D sensibilities, it blends animated films with comic books, it blends fluid motion with a stop motion feel. Blending this all together sounds like you would get a Frankenstein animation style, but no, what you get is a feel that I have never seen in animated films, something that feels brand new, but also deeply rooted in the past. The only way you make this work is having an amazing vision, and finding the best artists in the business to bring it to life. This film is dripping in stylistic choices that they did need to make, but enhance the film in every way. For example, we have the before-mentioned comic book integration, that is used as both a frame and technique for parts of the story, but also to make every moment of the film work to its best. This can be having Miles' internal monologue slash thoughts appear as if they were written in a comic, or to emphasize sound effects, or to make the action pop out from the screen. They also use this into the technique to make sure that there is not a boring transition in the film. It also allows you to experiment with the color palette, from the vibrant explosion of colors at the collider, the muted oranges of the birch forest, the sharp night sky, to whatever color Miles can use to create his art. It is also the help because they have created a rich world full of texture that makes you fall into this world that they have created. You see that in the city design, the character design, the way they use Daniel Pemberton's musical score to hit all the right notes. This film incorporates the comic elements into the movies with such grace. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Image credit. Sony slash Marvel this film incorporates the comic elements into the movies with such grace. Image credit. Sony slash Marvel well, you can create a world, design a new animation style, but none of that matters if you don't have characters that people care about and a story that captivates you. Now from this point onwards, we will be exploring some of the story elements of the film, so if you have not seen it this is your last warning that you might learn something you rather wouldn't. Each character in this film, bar some of the underlings, feels like someone who has a real drive and an emotional core that feels right. Miles is that kid that is fighting between many different worlds, that has just had his life turned upside down and does not know how to process it all, and this is all before that spider shows up. Each of the parallel universe spider peoples has a core drive that is both engaging but also complements their style. Like Nicolas Cage just delving into the old school hero with Spider Noir, it was a dream to watch, or the strength that Haley Steinfeld brings to Gwen Stacy. You feel the drive and connection in Miles' parents, in his uncle, Penny Parker, Kamite Goblin, and May, Lily Tomlin, is a riot, even the more absurd Spider Ham, John Mulaney, somehow fits. 
Even smaller characters like Dead Doc fell like completely realized characters, though this may be because casting Catherine Hahn is always a good idea no matter the role. Then there is the reluctant hero slash mentor Peter B. Parker, Jake Johnson, the Spider-Man in sweatpants after a bad breakup, who finds a new purpose. Indeed, even our big bad Wilson Fisk, who was probably the most cartoony in the design of the main cast, still had an understandable drive behind his performance. These characters bring the world to life and make you want to see them succeed. You have created a world, filled it with characters that have meaning, now you have to craft a story that combines this all together and gives an emotional heart to the film. This is a film that elicited so many different emotions for me throughout its runtime. There were moments when the cinema laughed so much the sound echoed off the walls and reverberated around the room, there were times when you had tears running down your face because of an emotional gut punch, and indeed times when you were laughing while the tears from the last gut punch were still wet upon your face indeed I should warn you that yes there is a Stan Lee cameo and yes it brings up as many emotions as you would expect. Part of why the script works as well as it does is because the writers get Spider-Man. There are nuances here that only could happen if there was someone deeply invested in this world who was set with the task of bringing it to like. I cared about the story because these felt like real people that just so happened to be able to swim from a web. You feel their pain and their joy, their anger and their jubilation. Every frame of this film is dripping in beautiful detail, creating a fully realized world. Image credit. Sony slash Marvel every frame of this film is dripping in beautiful detail, creating a fully realized world. Image credit. Sony slash Marvel in the end, do we recommend Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse? Yes, yes we do. This will undoubtedly be one of our films of the year and one of the best animated films I have seen in a while. One of the core driving themes in the film is that you need to take a leap of faith and I think that is very much what happened when they commissioned the film, and I am so glad that they did. By Brian McNamara. You can follow Brian on Twitter here, when he's not chatting about movies and TV, he'll be talking about international relations, or the solar system. Have you watched Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse? Let us know what you thought in the comments below, feel free to share this review on any of the social medias and you can follow us here check out all our past reviews and articles here, and have a happy day. Credits, all images were created by the cast, crew, and production companies of Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse directed by Bob Persichetti, Peter Ramsey and Rodney Rothman Story by Phil Lord's Greenplay by Phil Lord and Rodney Rothman Based on characters created by Brian Michael Bentis, Sarah Pacelli, Stan Lee, Steve Ditko, Tom DeFalco, Gerard Way, Jake Wyatt, David Hine, Fabrice Sapolsky, Carmen Dijandomnico and Mark Armstrong Music by Daniel Pemberton Starring Shamit Moore, Jake Johnson, Haley Steinfeld, Marshall Ali, Brian Tyree Henry, Lily Tomlin, Lula Lauren Velez, Zoe Kravitz, John Mulaney, Kamiko Glenn, Nicholas Cage, Catherine Hahn, Liv Schreiber, Chris Pine, Natalie Morales, Leigh Bell, Oscar Isaac, Jorma Taconi, Joaquin Cosio, Marvin Crondon Jones Ian Stanley Rating, Australia, PG, Canada, PG, Germany, 6, New Zealand, PG, United Kingdom, PG.